Okay, well, we got 1.2 inches of rain overnight, which equals uh, roughly three centimeters. Good amount of rain. This is my sediment pond, and uh, you know it's getting real close to overflowing, so I wanted to check it out. And it is it is actually flowing. Um, I'm going to show you on the other end. It's not it's just not a goalie washer where it's flowing over the rocks. Let's uh, let's take a walk down here. So it's kind of interesting to see it because I guess it's filtering through all these rocks and you know I just added I just added these small rocks in I don't know a few weeks ago it's it's a reclaimed product uh, crushed granite from a granite fabricator shop that makes countertops anyway um, I came down here and looked and let me show you and get down here there's a lot of rocks The water is actually flowing. Hope y'all can see that. And the water is clear. So let me go back to the sediment pond. I mean, it's brown water. It's, its intention is to settle out the sediment. So we got clear water coming out the other end of these rocks, but we've got dirty brown water here. So I think that's, uh, that's pretty cool. I mean, if we're... Uh, I mean, it is so close to overflowing the rocks. If we get one more, like, real rain, I think we're going to have that. And if it's not lightning or hailing, I'll probably come out here and film it real quick. So coming back down to the, the pond that it's overflowing into, this is what I call new pond. Got some issues with this one. It's a, it's a key dam. So they trenched all the way down to the clay layer that was probably seven to eight feet down locked it in so it's it's totally encapsulated in clay um where the dam is which holds the water back it actually gives you some uh hydration up uphill of the pond if you're not familiar with key dams that's a research topic i would look at if you're thinking about building a pond and i'm not talking about guys in heavy clay area but guys like me in central texas so the uh if you look at this you get, get it this side is clay we're looking at that kind of rusty brownish color is clay. Now I've been having a hard time with this this pond staying stable. In this side is just like a rocky gravel. It doesn't have any clay. So I'm kind of working on resolving that that issue. But I think this thing is built perfectly, except for this side, is, which is where I've got the problem. Um, there are macaws on Candyland. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm appreciating all this rain because we've uh, we've probably been two years without enough rain to even the, the the sediment pond has stayed stable with water in it, but uh, not enough rain to have it overflow. I mean, this is literally the first time, and you you, know, you may look at the little trickle coming out and say that doesn't count, but I'm going to count it. But first time in about two years where this has happened, so I'm I'm pretty excited.